Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and here on this channel we talk about writing, journaling, and productivity to help you curate a life that you love. So today's video is going to be very short and there's several reasons but the main reason is because I'm having a very bad day. I just found out that I deleted all of the footage of my next Tuesday video and I don't have any time to film it. So since things are kind of uh, hitting the fan right now, <laughs> um, I am going to keep things pretty short. So for today's video, I did do a library book aesthetic type of spread. Um, I did this a few days ago, so it's still pretty fresh in my memory, I think. I have to say, this one gives me dark academia vibes, or just academia vibes in general, um, like super strongly. So I really hope that you guys are able to connect with that and enjoy this different take on a spread. So before we get into today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more journaling and art journaling content like this. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright guys, welcome back to another art journal scrapbook video. So a lot of things have been happening for me recently, a lot of changes, uh, life updates, and just a lot of things going on. So um, I apologize for the crazy uploading schedule, I don't know if you noticed, but normally I um, post my stuff on Tuesdays and Fridays and uh, videos have been going out all willy-nilly, honestly. And Part of the reason is just because I am a little overwhelmed, overbooked with projects, and another reason is because I have tons of technological difficulties. Speaking of technological difficulties, I actually got a new microphone, which is what I'm testing out today to see if I like it. This has taken me probably a couple hours to figure out, so um, yeah, I can't say that it's been easy, but if this sounds better than my other recordings, uh, please let me know because I've been trying to cut out those pops and sharp sounds that often come across in my recordings since I didn't have a very good microphone before, so um, let me know if you like this better. If not, I'll have to keep working at it. <laughs> anyway, for today's spread, I started off with this craft paper, and you guys know I love craft paper. I love being able to crinkle it up and get this really raw type of background that only, pa only craft paper can achieve. The reason that I wanted to do craft paper as a background was because I'm using these pages and I kind of wanted to make it look like an open book, as if the book was laying open right here on my scrapbook and I didn't know what background to put. I didn't want it to be just white. Originally I was going to do like a wooden kind of background, but because I didn't have any wood paper and I didn't really feel like printing or purchasing anything, I thought the craft paper would do just as well and it adds a little bit of color without being too overwhelming. So for this whole spread, it all came about because I really wanted to create an annotated book slash library book aesthetic. Now, yes, you can't actually annotate library books, but that's okay. Um, we can pretend for the sake of this spread. The reason I really wanted to do it was because it brought me back to who I am and things I love. I used to annotate books and stories all the time in high school and college, and it's something that I haven't really been able to do recently, but I absolutely love it. So I'm using these warm, neutral colored washi tapes, these little stamps that I printed off um, from Canva, and this little like library ticket, the sign out sheet, um, to kind of hone in that library and annotation aesthetic that I'm going for. I actually decided to use a brown envelope to hold the library card because most library books have that card um, in like a little envelope in the front or back of the book and so I actually took off the card where I had taped it and put it in this and I thought it was a lot more interactive and fun so you can kind of pull it out now which was super exciting and I enjoyed being able to write the title of the book and to um, you know put my name on it because like <laughs> I checked out the book you know that's kind of the idea. Also for anybody who <laughs> might get mad about the book pages being torn out um, just to clarify these books the books that I have I only have two um, that I picked up from a free bin at a local bookstore and they were going to toss the books unless people took them for free. And I ended up taking them because um, I knew I could use it for my craft stuff and I wouldn't have to continuously purchase uh, faux book pages because I could use these. And the covers were missing, pages were already stained and torn, so um, I, I felt like I could give the book new life by using it in my artistic spreads. So that's the reason that I do this, but I promise I'm not a book 
Um, so I'm also making this little bookmark. I originally wrote the word bookmark on it, but it looked kind of silly. So I ended up just using stickers, which I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner because those stickers are literally made for like, they're like a book plant theme. And I put some little twine around it to create a little bookmark that I can pin on the side and pretend that it was in the book. I'm also annotating it here, which is what I was talking about earlier. So I am circling words and writing meanings. Um, I haven't actually read this story, but I did read these pages and I felt it was cool. I'm stuttering over my words. It was kind of fun to be able to go through and highlight certain phrases and kind of pick out meaning that the author might have been trying to create. So it's kind of fun just to go back to that. I'm also using this little post-it note and writing a little blurb for myself as well as for the book theme that I'm doing in this scrapbook so that way it can all kind of be tied together and overall I am so happy with this one and it just feels so me if that makes sense. All right and that was the making of the library aesthetic spread. <laughs> this one was definitely pretty quick to do. There wasn't a lot of second guessing. It wasn't super out there or crazy, but I did really enjoy it. And one of the reasons is because it brought me back to my roots in a sense. I love literary analysis. I love annotating stories. And that's what this spread essentially let me do. It's something that made me feel more connected to who I am. And since I've been going a little crazy recently with books and my current work in progress novel that is honestly a, such a pain to revise, since I've been doing a lot of that recently, I thought it was nice to do something that made me, reminded me why I love writing and why I love books so much. So anyway, I'm not going to talk too much about this one. Like I said, today's video will be very short. So let's go ahead and get into the final flip through. All right, so here is the final look at this spread. Again, it feels so warm and near and dear to my heart, so I'm very happy with it. And I really hope that it gives you guys some inspiration as well when you are ever stuck or in need of a little spread idea that is fun and kind of a little different than normal. So, yeah. Again guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you really enjoyed it. And if you wanna see more art journaling and journaling tips videos like this, please be sure to subscribe. And if you have any ideas of spreads that you want me to do, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. I don't know when I'll get to them, but I will put them on my list of ideas and I would love to create some things that interest you specifically. So please be sure to let me know what you want to see. Anyway, thank you again and until next time, I will catch you later. Mm -hmm.